Dear children, we are dealing with the lesson Force and Pressure. In the previous class, we studied about the force and pressure exerted by the liquids and properties of it. In this session, we are going to learn about the force exerted by solids. Nothing but it's a friction. The, we have already studied about the types of forces that is contact force and non-contact force. So this frictional force is one of the contact forces. What is frictional force? Whether it is very important for our life? So we are going to deal about this topic in this session. So what is frictional force? You can able to walk on the ground. You can able to hold a tumbler in your hand. So what force is existing between your hand and the tumbler? So the force which is existing between the two surfaces when, it's in, when it is in contact is called frictional force. You apply oil in your hand and hold the tumbler, you can't able to hold it properly because this oil reduces the friction. So here what is frictional force? The frictional force is nothing but the force exerted when two or more bodies come in contact with each other. So this makes us to walk on the ground or any other objects to stand on the ground. So what happens? So why this force arises? This arises due to the geometrical dissimilarities on the surface of the surface which is in contact and this force always acts in the opposite direction. So I'll repeat again what is frictional force? The force exerted when two or more objects are come in contact with each other. That force is nothing but the frictional force. This force acts always in the opposite direction and this arises due to the geometrical dissimilarities that is, if it is a rough surface or smooth surface, it depends upon it. So it arises due to the geometrical dissimilarities of the surface which is in contact. Now we are going to see what are the effects of friction. So the friction can oppose motion. You just kick a ball. After some time, the ball rolls and stops in a place. So what makes a ball to stop? This frictional force acting there in the opposite direction makes not to stop that is it doesn't give any movement so it opposes motion the second one it causes wear and tear of the surfaces in contact we can see we are wearing shoes after some days when it is a new shoe you have you can get a whole grip you can able to walk after some days or after some months the sole of the shoes will become very smooth so that it will be slippery to walk so that is nothing but the wear and tear. We say that is as wear and tear. So it causes wear and tear of the surfaces in contact. And it produces heat. The friction can produce heat. You can rub your both your hands. You can feel the warm producing. So that when these two in contact, it produces heat. So these are the effects of friction. So what are the effects of friction? Friction opposes motion, friction causes wear and tear of the surfaces in contact, friction produces heat. So now we are going to see about the next topic is types of friction. The frictions are basically uh, have two types that is static friction and kinetic friction. What is static friction? The friction existing, sorry, the, ex the friction experienced by the body which is at rest is called static friction. That is an object can able to stand in a place because of this friction. If it is, uh, you just apply oil on the surface and place that object, it, it can't able to stand, it will be slippery. So the friction is nothing but experienced by an object when it at rest is called as static friction. We can say about the next topic is nothing but the kinetic friction. That is, when the object is in motion, this friction will be there. The type of friction is called as kinetic friction. When an object moves, a kinetic friction will be there. And it's again classified into two types, that is sliding friction and rolling friction. Sliding friction. From the name, you can able to say sliding. That is, you are playing in the park, you can play the slides where you can sit and slide down. So here there are also some frictions will be present. So what is sliding friction? When a body slides over the surface of another body, 
the friction acting between the surface in contact is called sliding friction so the next one is rolling friction when a body rolls over the other body the friction acting between the surface in contact is called as rolling friction so here the rolling friction is less than the rolling friction is always less than this sliding friction that's why i can explain this with an example just you take your book you just slide it it will on the on the surface you will see it will just move to a particular distance but you take the same book you just keep some pencils that is uh, uh, pencils the spherical pencils you keep over the book and just roll it so that it can move fast and a little more distance than comparing to the previous one so this shows that the sliding distance a uh, rolling distance sorry rolling friction is less than the sliding friction that's why we are using wheels in the automobiles which is spherical so that it can able to move easily the next topic so we studied about what is friction what are the effects of friction and also the types of friction so what is friction the force existing between two or more uh, bodies which is in contact it is all acts in the opposite direction and it arises due to the geometrical irregularities of the sur surface and we studied about the effects of friction that is it opposes motion it causes wear and tear of the surface of the in contact and it produces heat and the next topic we deal is types of friction in that we studied about what is static friction and what is kinetic friction and in kinetic friction again it is divided into two types that is uh, sliding friction and rolling friction now we are going to see about the factors affecting friction what are the factors that affects friction so it depends upon the nature of the surface i will explain then the next one weight of an object and the third one it depends upon so nature of the surface weight of an object as well as area of contact so nature of the uh, surface uh, is it easy for us to walk on the ice glaciers we can say it is not it is not easy because the ice glaciers will be very smooth so that we don't have enough grip or there is no friction the friction will be very less but you can easily walk on the rough surface because the friction will be more so here if the roughness of the surface increases the roughness increases friction also increases i hope you can understand that's the reason why we can able to walk on the floor rough floor easily than on the tiles or in the ice glaciers the next one weight of an object is it e it is easy for us to pedal the we, it is easy to ride a cycle without a load on the carrier but you when you have a load on the carrier of your cycle it is tough for you to move because if the weight increases here also if the weight increases the friction will increase the friction will increase so that is the concept the next one is area of contact if the area of the contact increases is greater if area of contact is greater then friction also will be greater so we can say the road roller tires will be broad and big so that the area of contact to the road will be more so the friction will be more comparing to the uh, cycle tires which we have so these are the factors which affect friction so the friction depends upon the nature of the surface if the roughness is more the friction also will be more weight of an object if the weight is more the friction will be more 
and coming to the next one area of contact if the area of the contact is greater then the friction also will be greater so next the next uh, topic we are going to see is nothing but the advantage of friction so everything in the in our daily activities it depends upon the friction we can able to walk on the ground we can able to write with a pen or pencil because of this friction when you just strike a matchstick you can get a fire because of the friction between the matchstick head and the box what is there so all these things are because of the friction so we can go through what are the advantages of friction we can hold any object in our hand due to friction we can walk on the road because of the friction we can write easily with a pen or paper is due to friction auto wheels can move safely due to friction between the tires and the roads we are able to light a matchstick or fix a nail on the wall because of this friction so though it creates a negative effects sometimes it creates a negative effects but it is a necessary evil for us it is a very important one for us so it is very important for our everyday life next so we studied about the advantages of friction now we are going to see about the disadvantages of friction as i said that will be a wear and tear of the objects the parts will be get damaged soon so that is a disadvantages of friction that is we say that is keeping on using it will become very smooth so that Uh, we have to give more effort or more energy for the process so that is another disadvantages and the next one is friction produces heat which affects the physical parts of the machine so i'll just go through what is given in your book so friction wears out the surface rubbing with each other like screws and gears in machines or soles of shoes to overcome the friction an excess amount of effort has to be applied so this leads to the wastage of energy i hope you can understand this point friction produces uh, heat which causes physical damage to the machine so what happens by in what we'll do to increase or decrease the friction so for increasing the friction the area of contact will be increased if you increase the area of contact the friction also will be increased if you Uh, decrease area of contact the friction will be less you can see the players who are playing playing kabaddi they will rub the mud in their hand to have a good get a good grip and also we can see the soles in the soles we can see the treads and in the tires also we can see the treads which give a good grip to the road so that it will be easy to move on the road without slipping the next one by using lubricants we can see the old doors the hinges will make noise or some locks will get stuck so because of the irregularities between the surfaces so when you apply oil that will fill the irregularity surfaces and makes it to move smoothly so this reduces the friction the substance which reduces the friction is nothing but lubricants you can say an example as oil or kerosene or grease all these things comes under lubricants so this reduces the friction and the next one using ball bearings so the rolling friction as i said the rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction it is replaced by ball bearings we can see the small small lead balls is placed in the rim of the wheel to reduce the frictions so using ball bearing we have used we have reduced the friction so i hope you can understand the lesson what we are dealing force and pressure and today's session we studied about the force exerted by the solids is nothing but frictional force it is a it is a contact force and how it happens when two bodies come in contact with each other and also it always acts in the opposite direction and it arises due to the geometrical irregularities on the surface and we studied about the effects of uh, friction that is it opposes motion it uh, causes wear and tear on the surfaces in contact and it produces heat and we studied about the types of friction that is static and kinetic friction static friction which makes an object to be at rest the friction produces when it is in the movement is called kinetic friction it is again classified into two that is sliding friction and rolling friction 
So here the rolling friction is always less than the sliding friction I have explained with an example. Now we studied about what are the factors affects friction. So it depends upon the nature of the surface. The friction always depends upon nature of the surface. So here when the roughness of the surface is more the friction also will be more. It is easy for us to push an object on the smooth surface than on the rough surface. So here it can be explained that when roughness increases friction also increases. Then coming to the next part weight of an object when weight of an object increases that is the weight of the body increases the friction increases. It is easy for us to ride an empty cycle without a load but if you have a load it will be tough for us to ride a cycle. So here the weight increases the friction also increases. Coming to the next one is area of contact. If the area of the contact is greater and so that the friction also will be greater. If the area of the contact is less that is the surface to the surface then it, it is also the friction also will be less. After this we studied about the advantages of friction and disadvantages of friction and how to increase or how to decrease the friction. So advantages we are able to walk on the ground because of the friction. The sole in the sole we have treads and in the tires we have treads that makes us to hold on the ground. It gives a grip to the ground and we can able to write with a pen or pencil on the paper due to this friction and also we can able to um, hammer a nail on the wall because of the friction or just uh, matchstick by rubbing the matchstick against because of this friction. So all these things are advantages of friction though it gives some negative effects but it is a very necessary one so we call it is as a necessary evil. So now we are going to see about the disadvantages so as I said friction wears and tears the body uh, parts of our uh, um, machines so that it, it totally spoils it becomes smooth so the friction will be less and the next one to overcome the friction the excess amount of energy should be spent so this is also another disadvantage of friction. And the other one is friction produces heat which damage the physical parts of the machine. So now we are going to deal with we have already learnt about how to increase and decrease the friction as I said area of contact using lubricants using ball bearings. So if you increase the area of the contact the friction will be also increases if you reduce the area of contact the friction will be reduced. Using lubricants that is a substance which reduces friction is called lubricants example oil grease all these things comes under lubricants. So it evens the uneven substance uh, places so that the object can move smoothly. The next one is using ball bearings as I said the rolling friction is less than the sliding friction here the ball bearings reduces the friction which is used in the rim the red, red balls used in the rim of the wheels. I hope you can understand the lesson. So we are dealing with the lesson force and pressure. We studied about what is force, what is pressure, the pressure exerted by the air, pressure exerted by the liquid and pressure exit exerted by the sorry the force exerted by the solids. I hope you can understand this lesson. Thank you.